with Teach for America, and after being a teacher, high school teacher for three years, growing up in a low income background in the 80s, I saw that a lot of students struggled with preparing for college, not having parents that were aware of the process. So, um, tell me just from the beginning, you know, I was surprised when I first talked with you on the phone and you were like, oh yeah, in middle school, and I'm like, middle school? You know, like that was surprising to me. So tell me about how early you really do have to start. You can start as early as sixth grade, and most parents are not aware, but you can accelerate your kids in programs that the school may offer, such as pre-AP math. And if you prepare your kids for taking pre-AP math, once they get to college, once they get to high school, they can take courses that they'll receive college courses for and be able to save a lot of money. And then you can also take exams that will allow you to see where your kids, they can prepare their weaknesses in, high, in middle school so they can start preparing for high school. So people who are using your business, what do they say when they call you? They normally say, I have I have a child, I want them to go to college, I do not have the money, do not know what to do, and we set them up with a, pro with a process that provides them with their own schedule. So everyone has their own action plan that's provided specifically for that individual. And not having parents that were aware of the process, he's always like pushing me, they really do get me hope, and I'm really just pushing for it. Anything's possible. Henry recommends students start college prep in middle school with a PSAT practice book. If you have a child that's in the sixth, seventh grade, eighth grade level, make sure they're doing five questions a day. Also in middle school, pay attention to class selection. If you take pre-AP math in middle school, you do well, you actually have the chance of receiving high school credit. And then once you get to high school, you already have high school credits, and that allows you to participate in dual college programs. Another key to college success, keep track of your grade point average. It's real important for you to understand how the GPA still works. Request your GPA from your high school counselor. Request an unofficial transcript so you can know where your child stands. The GPA, along with the test scores, are the top two factors for college admission. When you're taking your SAT, your SAT or ACT exam, there is no penalty for guessing. So if you are running out of time, follow in every answer on your stand trunk. I took my ACT earlier, so, so that was a good thing. So I remember that. Thank you.